So we have four of the S-Class upgrades and we have six storage augmentations. That is insane. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get a first wave exotic ship. And there's a ton of reasons why you want this, but first, let's get into the details. So all credit where it's due. I found this over on the No Man's Sky coordinates exchange, the NMS coordinates exchange over on Reddit. And all credit goes to Turbulent Society 77 He's the one who found it. This is a post from him. I'm just showing you guys how to do it and actually how to use it to your advantage because not only is it a cool squid that normally people would love to get, but you can actually use this to your advantage and get a ton of money, nanites, and even upgrades for your ship. So you could definitely do this. So let me pump in these uh, coordinates right here. This is gonna be uh, bird, sunrise, the TP, Sunrise, Sunrise, Dino, the Rocket, the uh, Moon, the Sunrise, the uh, Ship, the Spider, and then the Dragonfly. Now keep in mind, this is going to be in the starter galaxy, Euclid, the beginning galaxy. Everyone should be able to get there. If you're not there, you need to go back to Euclid in order to do this. I would also highly recommend turning off your multiplayer. So go to your options, go to your network settings and disable multiplayer and invite only for your group. That way people can't come in and steal it from you. So let's head on over here. So once you land on the other side, right there, Snee Master found this one. Awesome. Now, once you land on the other side, remember you're only allowed to have nine ships. They let us have more. You can have up to nine ships, which is awesome, but you can only have up to nine. Like I have nine right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call in a ship I want to scrap. I want to change out. So let's call in my other, my uh, silver mosquito. This is my other exotic. This is, remember, because we have to go to the space station. You cannot switch your ship once you get to the space station. So switch it now before you get to that space station. Let's get up here and let's go to that space station now. So once you get to the space station, this is what's amazing about a first wave ship. It only applies to a space station. A first wave will land in the space station immediately after a reload. So you wanna get out. We created an auto save right there. We're going to reload our auto save and we're going to get a first wave. So let's do that. So once you reload, you'll be in like that. That's really, you know, that's you just, you want to reload because you need a first wave. If you just portal in like that, you don't know what wave you're on because it takes you time to get out of the portal, get in your ship, fly up to the uh, space station. So it's always good to just, you know, restart as soon as, or reload your autosave as soon as you land on the space station. And the best part about a exotic first wave is You'll get a ton of uh, upgrades, S-Class upgrades, because an exotic is always going to be an S-Class, no matter what. You'll get S-Class upgrades, and you can get storage augmentations. That is the biggest deal with the uh, exotics. Storage augmentations are free upgrades for your inventory in your ship. So that is totally worth it. This is why you want to hunt for an exotic first wave. And then, as you can see, it's going to take a few seconds so don't worry if you don't see any ships to begin with. It takes about 30 seconds or so for the ships to load in and start landing on the space station. And look at that. Already, look at number one. And it's not always going to be the first ship. It might be the, the third or the fourth one, but this time it was the first one. And look at that. It's a S-Class already. So keep in mind, you're going to need to buy this. So you need to invest some money before you can actually start making a ton of it back. But you can make a ton of it back. So... Let's uh, make an offer on a ship. This is a really good S-Class upgrade. And look at it, it's orange. You know Survival Bob is going to love this ship, you guys. So tag him over on Twitter. If you follow him on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. Link down below in the description. But it's gonna cost you 12 million. I have a ship already. I'm gonna have to uh, trade mine out to get this one. That's okay, I have a manual save, so I'm not worried about it. But I mean, if you don't want to trade it out, remember you should have you should should have switched your ship back on the planet surface. Let's exchange. I know, I know. 
But once you once you grab it, now let me let me show you. My my inventory is clean, up other than the hydraulic wiring and geodesite. Let me get rid of that. That way I can show you. Inventory is clean. There's nothing. There's no storage augmentations. There's no upgrade materials in here or any kind of uh ship upgrades. So once you grab it, come over here. You're gonna scrap it. You're gonna get some parts for it. The biggest thing is you're looking for those uh, storage augmentations. We're gonna scrap it for eight. We spent 12, we're gonna scrap it for eight, so we're losing four million every time, but you're earning nanites with that. So you're basically trading nanites for cash, for your money. So there you go, and look at that. Number one, I got two upgrades, so I can get a whole bunch of uh, nanites for that. I also got three storage augmentations. You guys, that is insane, look at that. All right, so let's go back in here. Now we're, we need to get into a ship and get out of it. That way we create an autosave. So it'll bring back in your number one ship, your first ship in your list. For me, that happens to be my, my living ship. But for you, it might be a different one. Create an autosave. And now we're going to reload again. There you go. And I, I want to show this. I, I fast forwarded the reload. But I want to show you that this is actually a first wave. So you saw the first one. We got that one easy. We reload it again. Hopefully we get it on the number one ship. But again, first wave means it could be one, you know, the first out of the four. So it could be the third. It could be the second. It could be the first like we had last time. But it's the first wave. That way you don't have to worry about waiting for hours in order to get a uh, an exotic to come in. But yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to scrap a ship because you'll get two S-Class upgrades. You can use this for another ship if you want to or you can sell it and make nanites, but the bigger deal is this storage augmentation right here. That thing, oh man, that's gonna be a good deal on that one. All right, and again, we gotta wait for a few uh, seconds, 30 seconds to a minute for the uh, ships to load in and then start landing on the space station. All right, so here is the first one, is gonna be a blue fighter. That's a cool looking fighter, I like that one. Look at that, and it's a C-Class, but look at the color on this thing. That's a really sweet looking fighter. Another fighter if you want one. I like that, it's a, it's the uh, starfish wings. I like that, I like that. And then look at it, it's number three this time, but it came in first wave again. There's another fighter over there. Look at that fighter, I like that one too. That one's cool, but we're not here for any of those. We're here for the orange squid. Look at this thing, beautiful. Now what you can do is just talk to him. We're going to sell all the upgrade stuff we got. So the handful of cogs, all the, the pieces from our previous ship. We're gonna sell all of that just to make room. Thermal panels, uh, press indium springs, recycled circuitry. We're gonna sell all that. We're not going to sell our storage augmentations because you can sell three of them. They're 100,000 a piece, but they're worth way more than that if you use them on your ship. So th then we're going to make an offer on his ship. And again, they're always going to be an S-Class right there. Then we're going to uh, buy it because we scrapped it before. So now we have room in our inventory. Uh, again, you can have up to nine. We're gonna buy it for seven million. So keep that number in mind. We bought it for seven million, not as much as the previous one because this one has a little bit less slots in it. So the price of your ship depends on how many slots you have in your inventory for your ship. But we bought it for 7.3 and we're going to sell it for five or scrap it for 5.1. Again, you lose a little bit of your cash, but you're gaining storage augmentations and nanites. Let me get that. So now let's see what we got here. We got another two, and you're gonna get the same ones over and over again. Look at that. We got another two pulse engine and hyperdrive. So we have four of the S-Class upgrades, and we have six storage augmentations. That is insane. We are spending money to get storage augmentations. These things will cost a million dollars if you're trying to use it on your ship to upgrade it. So you got free storage augmentations, and we can just keep doing that over and over and over. So hopefully you guys are using that. If you have a lot of cash, like if you made a lot of cash early on, you can now use it to get nanites and storage augmentations. So awesome, so awesome. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, 
hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. And I'll see you guys next time.